Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. Uh, this is going to be part two of a combo tutorial where I'm going to be showcasing a little bit more how to understand your deck and play with it when you're in a tournament. We're super close to 9,000 subscribers, and so if you like what you see, uh, subscribe and like the video. I'm going to be doing a whole lot of more normal content for the next few weeks just because I'm updating a lot of the uh, previous tutorials I had done several months ago that really do need uh, updating with the times. This is going to be a Dragoons plus a Teus combo. Uh, I believe last time we did a Pike plus a Dragoons. And you would think that this is the most broken uh, combo you have in the deck, and truthfully, it's not. Uh, considering the build that I'm playing, just like Pike plus Dragoons, this is basically the exact same thing, but you use something earlier in the combo. Um, the M board's practically the same, it's just, I would argue less safe because your opponent does have the opportunity to hit you with Drill and Lockbird very early in the beginning. And if you don't have an extender, it's probably going to shut down your entire turn. So for this, you can actually do a hand loop combo, which is better for when you're going, uh, uh, let's say game three and you're going first, your opponent has sided in a bunch of going second cards like Dark Ruler No More plus Forbidden Talents or Forbidden Droplets. So I'm just going to show you the turn one, game one board to end on five interruptions. So to start this off, we're going to discard the Dragoons to activate our Teus. If it resolves, we are going to spur some of the uh, Teus from our hand. Chain link one Dragoons, chain link two Teus to search. We are not going to search Diva here. We're actually going to search the Pike and the Dragoons is going to search for the Neptunus. From here, we're going to normal summon our Pike, discarding the uh, Neptunus to search for a level three water. If you're really unsure what your opponent has in their hand, you could search for Minstrel, but if they had something like Gamma or Droll Unlock, they would have already used it. So instead, we're going to search for a Gund for the follow-up play with our uh, combo. On a new chain, Prince is going to activate Special Summoning the Dragoons from our graveyard. Next, we're going to overlay both of our level 4 water monsters for a Bahamut Shark. And uh, something that's pretty neat is that Totally Awesome was reprinted in the new gold set. So this actually appeals to the budget players a lot more. We're going to use Bahamut Shark to detach the Dragoons as a cost to support summon the Totally Awesome as our fifth summon. And then we can use uh, Dragoons' effect on a new chain to search for a Lapis Dragon. Lapis Dragon's going to use his own effect to special summon himself because he was searched. And we could actually make the Coral Anemone or the Hulk of Fabrics first, but because of zone placement and we're going to usually make Anemone with the Hulk of Fabrics, we're going to use both Teus plus Bahamut Shark to special summon the Coral Anemone and use Coral Anemone's effect to target a water monster with 1500 or less attack, this being the Neptibus. Just making sure you guys are aware of the cards we're using. Neptibus is then going to use his effect to send a Dragoons for cost to add a copy of Dragoons from our deck. Dragoons on a new chain is going to search for a Mermel Abyss Megalo because he's going to be your main level seven monster for a lot of your synchro plays. Now, alternatively, you do have five waters in your graveyard, so you don't have to search your Mermel and uh, your Megalo and instead search your Mermel and Glacia. And you can still combo off because you have Lapis Dragon plus your Coral Anemone to make Hulk Fabrics. And that's where the second variation of this combo comes into play. If you're going to summon your Mill and Glacier and then summon your Trishula and end on a negate. So from here, we are going to use our Megalo's effect, discarding both the Dragoons plus the Gund to special summon himself. Doesn't really matter where. And uh, Chainlink 1 Dragoons to search, mandatory. Chainlink 2 is actually going to be the Megalo to search for an Abyss Filler Trap card. And Chainlink 3 finally is going to be your Gund to special summon the Teus from your graveyard. As for spell and trap cards that you can search for your Megalo, there's actually two prime targets. Because we do not end on a Abyssalation in this combo, these are probably the two best cards you could search. Uh, Abyss Sphere is better if you have a Burrowed Savage Dragon in your extra deck. If you don't, Abyss Scorn is better because you can summon the uh, Librarian or the Wonder Magician to destroy this card. So these are the two cards that you can search. One just summons a monster for you to synchro with. One just blows a monster up. So I guess in this case, we're going to search for the Scorn. Let's put this back into the deck. And we will make a uh, Hulk of Fireworks using our Tuner Lapis Dragon, plus our Coral Anemone. 
and Halka Fire was supposed to special summon my favorite water tuner in the entire game. Uh, Fishboard Launcher only comes as a common, it's not too expensive. You should be able to pick one up if you want to play this deck. And we will use Fishborg Launcher with our Teus to go into our first Synchro Monster. This will be a Out of Emancipator Risen Dragite. It's a standard spell in Trap Negate with 3000 attack. And because we only have water monsters in our graveyard, we're allowed to use Fishborg Launcher's effect to bring himself back to the field. Just keep in mind, he does get banished when he leaves it. So from here, we'll use Megalo plus our, I think, yeah. By the way, I forgot to search for the Dragoons that you uh, discard off of your Megalo. And so in this case, you're either going to search two things. You're either going to search a Diva for a follow-up play. Or you're landing having empty to discard off of your Karaka Dragon. It's just something I forgot. Just keep in mind to not forget your chain links. And so yes, getting back on track, we're going to Synchro Summon again a level 9 using our level 1 Neptibus, level 7 Megalo, plus our level 1 Tuner to go into your Ravenous Croca Dragon. Arcadus, this is going to special summon itself in defense position, use this effect because you use two non-tuners, you can actually draw two cards, putting up four cards in your hand. All in all, this combo only uses two extra deck monsters as extenders, so you're not using a whole lot of your extra deck, and you're keeping it like a toolbox rather than blowing through your entire extra deck at once. And so to end our turn, we're going to set the Abyss Scorn and Pass. Remember, if you're playing against Mech Knights, try and organize your zones so you're not overlapping. So during the opponent's turn, we have a Negate with Totally Awesome. We have a Disruption with Croc Dragon by discarding two cards. That's where draw, uh, Surging Infantry actually acts as an additional interruption. We also have Dragon to stop a spell or trap card like Evenly Matched. And we have Halka Farbus who can banish himself from the field to Synchro Summon your TG Wonder Magician. On summon, this card will blow up a spell or trap card on the field, like a Magical Meltdown or a Lost World. However, if there's a monster you want to get rid of that cannot be destroyed, you can actually use her to blow up the Scorn, and Scorn will then send a monster from your opponent's field to the graveyard. Mandatory effect won't miss time. And so this leaves you with a follow-up play if you search the Diva. Like I said, I just forgot to search it when I discarded the Dragoons plus the Gund for the Megalo. Don't forget that, and you should be ready to go. So that's going to be it for today's video. It's going to be pretty, pretty short. I should have a dual video actually um, next week, and that should uh, be done by then. Yeah, I want to try and focus a bit more on some stuff like this, just because the deck's kind of nice where it is right now, where we're not trying to focus too much on making Hanukkah fireworks, and instead using the deck as a toolbox. And if you are running stuff like Feather Duster and Raigeki, um, maybe even main deck, uh, to, to triple tactics talent because our deck is a bit vulnerable to hand traps. It's actually a pretty viable strategy going first and second. So that, that's all I have to say for today. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.